Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick and easy dongchimi that you can eat in a couple days. Dongchimi is a Korean radish water kimchi. It's super refreshing and yummy and let's get to it. First I like to start off with the pul. I'm going to make a sweet rice flour paste. We're going to make it loose about one cup of water to one tablespoon of sweet rice flour and I'm going to stir that up. We're going to turn up our heat and let that come to a boil, then we will take it off and let that fully cool before we add it to our brine. Generally, for the dongchimi, you use a smaller Korean radish, a mu like this one. Roll it around in salt whole overnight, and you can ferment them whole like this. But today I'm going to show you an easier version that's a little bit quicker and faster to eat, and a little bit easier for most people. I have about two pounds of mu, and let's get to slicing them. I have a four liter jar here and we're going to slice our radishes and place them in. After we've cut all of our mu and placed it into our jar, we're going to put about two tablespoons of sea salt and a tablespoon of cane sugar. We're going to just give that a nice little toss Shake it up a bit, and we're gonna let this sit about 45 minutes to an hour. While that sits, let's get to making the rest of our brine. I'm going to first show you some of the ingredients I'm going to use. Normally for the peppers, you use the pickled salted Korean peppers, but it's really hard to find here. So we're going to just use the fresh ones. This is a Korean pepper that's not spicy, and also red pepper. These two are both not very spicy, but it does give good flavor, so I'm going to put those in, and I also add serrano peppers for the spice. Depending on what's available to you in your area, you can choose different peppers if you like, but this is what I use. I'm going to slice one and then keep one whole, and I'm just going to poke a couple holes in them. Same with the red pepper, I cut one and I'm going to keep one whole. I have one serrano pepper sliced here. I have about an inch and a half to two inches of ginger, and I'm going to just slice that up. About eight to 10 garlic cloves. Just cut them in half to help release some of that garlic flavor. We're going to put the serrano pepper, garlic, and ginger into a tea bag and throw them into a jar. I've also cut about three stalks of green onion into about three inch sizes. We're gonna throw that in later. And in my Nutribullet now, I'm going to put half of a large onion, half of a large Korean pear, and a small apple. And I'm going to add about two third cups of water. And let's blend it up. I have my milk nut bag here, which I use for so many different things. We're going to strain some of our ingredients through. So I have my cooled down sweet rice flour paste. And what we just blended up, we're going to also add that and strain it through. I will link in the description the nut bags that I use. They're super affordable and so handy going to just pull that up, put in the drawstring, and wring out all the liquid. You can discard whatever is left in the bag and we're going to put this to the side. Now I have eight cups of water and I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons, depending on taste, of sea salt. Remember that your radishes already have two tablespoons of salt. We're not going to rinse that. Some people like to rinse it, but we're going to keep that. So you don't want to make it too salty, but feel free to add another tablespoon of salt if you like your food a little bit saltier. So now that our radishes are ready, you'll see that a lot of juice and brine has developed underneath here. We are not going to rinse it, and we are going to keep that. I realized I did not have my tea bags anymore because they're all used up, so I used a food safe plastic bag that I poked a bunch of holes in. 
Not what I would normally suggest, but that's all I had. And we're going to add in our green onions, our peppers that I've poked holes in, and some more peppers. Now we're going to add in our liquids. And our water with salt. Now you don't want to fill it up all the way to the top right here because it will start to bubble up as it's fermenting, but you're going to want to leave a little bit of space. I am going to give that a nice little stir. Let's screw that lid on nice and tight, and we'll see you in a couple days. And like magic, we have one that's already a few weeks old and nice and cold. And ready to go.